express the function as a sum of a power series and find the interval of convergence. We have f of x is equal to x plus 2, 2x squared minus x minus 1. And we want it to look like this so we can represent it as a pow uh, power series like this. Now, we can factor the denominator so it would look like this, which is x plus 2 over 2x plus 1 times x minus 1. Now, in order to solve this, we need to use the partial fraction, which will become a over x minus 1 plus b over 2x minus 1. We want to solve for a and b, so we set it equal to x plus 2, which is equal to a times 2x plus 1 plus b times x minus 1. In order to solve for a, we set x equal to 1 half. And we'll, we'll get negative 1 half plus 2 equal a times 2x times negative 1 half plus 1 plus b times negative 1 half minus 1, which will give us 3 over 2 is equal to negative 3 over 2 times b. And we divide both sides by negative 3 over 2. We'll be left with b is equal to negative 1. Now to solve for a, we set x equal to 1. And we plug it in, which will give us 1 plus 2 equal to a times 2 times 1 plus 1 plus b times 1 minus 1. Which will give us 3 equal to 3 times a and a will be equal to 1. Now we plug in a and b back into the numerator, which will give us 1 over x minus 1 minus 1 over 2x plus 1. And we, to, we manipulate the signs to put it in this form. So we'll get 1 over negative 1 minus x minus 1 over 1 minus the negative of 2x. Now that we have, the, we have it in this form, which is similar to this one, we can now write this as the sum of the power series. So now we have the negative sum of x to the n from 0 to infinity minus negative 2x to the n from 0 to infinity. We can simplify the second term to make it look like this, which is a negative 1 to the n times 2x to the n. And from here, we find the uh, interval of convergence. We set x, the absolute value of x, as less than 1. And x would be greater than negative 1 and less than 1. So the interval of the first term is negative 1 to 1. And for the second term, we set the absolute value 2x less than 1, and 2x will equal, well, not equal, um, 2x will be greater than negative 1 and less than 1, and we divide um, all terms by 2, so we'll end up with negative 1 half is less than x, and x is less than 1 half, and that will be the interval um, of negative 1 half and 1 half. And the negative one half and one half is common, so we'll use um, so that will be the answer for the.